So the Holy Shaft, Part 3. We're going to look at the Vesica square roots, some more 100s. Just, it's incredible. So at the square, now look at Robert Grant wrote to me down below there, I see my photo of Vesica overlapping to the right. Did you find any correspondences? Okay, on the right there, above my head, I forgot that this was even showing up in the video. It's something that, that Robert and Alan Green worked on, and I was going to overlay it, and so Robert caught it, and I said, okay, well, I, I was just getting ready to do some work on that. So here's what it is. This is the, this is what I, the, the drawing I had to the side. Okay, well, what is this? Okay, so uh, it's, it's a... It's a drawing that I'm over that I'm overlaying the lines on the Giza plateau I found that are exact 100 feet distances to various measures. Okay, and what this is, uh, again, you you I, I I'm showing just doing this to show you that I, I'm overlapping this. Okay, why I'm overlapping this? What is this? Well, you can see here that the square roots. This Vesica Pisces sacred geometry is showing these exact square roots, square root of two, square root of three, square root of four, and all that. Well, the flower of life is a beautiful construction. It's pure sacred geometry. This is a colored one, but it starts from the Vesica Pisces, two circles that are put, uh, you know, an equal distance of, the, of a radius apart, and then that begins to form. Okay, you can see the vesica there, now you add to it, and that's what eventually forms the flower of life. And so you can see the flower of life, the seed of life, is made up of these, these vesicas. Okay, Okay. so uh, so Rob, Rob, or Alan Green looked at this, and uh, usually uh, the way this is shown is like this. You can see there's a square root of 2, square root of 3, square root of 4, and 5 appears from showing just measuring those distance. Now these are distances. In other words, the, the fat black line is one, which is also the square root of one. So the red line is the distance of the square root of two. In other words, take the value for the square root of two, and if you use the one, the fat line in the center uh, as one, then that is the length of the square root of two. The green one is the length of the square root of five, etc. Okay. Okay, so that's, again, the square root of 2 in terms of length. That's the square root of 3 in terms of length. Okay, so the way it's often shown is like this. This is what Alan Green's saying. That if that's 1, that vesica, the distance across, is 1, okay, that's also 1, okay. Okay, that one, a, a, FD, is uh, 2, okay. And so that one is... Uh, a to F is the square root of 2, and M to N is the square root of 3, and C to F is the square root of 5, and so on. So that's usually the way it's shown. But Alan Green wanted to find a way where they all centered in the same place. So he did, and he found that on the connection points in the Flower of Life, all these square roots were there. And so that's what Robert caught. I had this diagram off to the side. I didn't realize it was in my last video. And so he said, did you find any overlaps? What are the chances there's going to be a correspondence between these square root value lines and those radiating from the holy shaft at Giza? I mean, seriously, what are the chances? So, so here's the, you know, the different distances I found that are exactly, you know, 100 foot distances to all these major places on Giza. Okay. And if there is, if there is a connection and you will see there is, what does that say about the level of planning and coordination of the design at Giza? Okay, so here's the Philosopher's Stone drawing over a map. Okay, so, so it's telling us to draw over a map. Alan Green and Robert Grant are modern polymaths, philosophers, and like me, they draw these geometries over maps, sort of like taking theory to praxis, praxis, to practice. That's the way I look at it. Okay, so Robert and I both had the same idea. Overlay the vesica square roots with the holy shaft lines of 100 feet, all right? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to overlap the Giza lines with these vesica square roots. I mean, just a crazy idea, but we did it. So here's, you know, the square roots, okay? All right, so that one overlaid on Giza is 888 feet. It's the square root of 3. Now, this is the one that isn't an even hundred. This is the one that defines the holy circle. Exactly 888 feet to the Sphinx, to, uh, you know, Khufu, Khafre. Okay, so let's look at the next one. There's the square root of 5 overlaying on Giza. 
goes exactly to the tau cross, 1300 feet exactly from that center. That's the square root of five. So I, I'm going to show you these correspondences. Those of you that are math people, are, you, you, there's probably some connection. I'm just showing initially that these connections are there, but there's probably further meaning here. That's why I'm putting the numbers. Okay, so this one through the square root of six, that points exactly to Bellatrix, 15,300 feet exactly at the square root of six. That's one of the stars of Orion that I found on Egyptian soil. Okay, that's pretty incredible. All right, then let's go through the square root of seven line. Where does that point? That points exactly to the eastern Menkara. Okay, that's 2,500 feet away. Then the square root of 13, the longest line that's out here, and that goes exactly to the pyramid of Menkara, exactly 2,300 feet away. Wow, okay, this line, the square root of 10, points to the Khafre satellite. It's 1,300 feet away, that's the square root of 10. Okay, then that line right there points to the Khafre mortuary temple. 500 feet away, that's the square root of 9. Okay, what about that line right there? Uh, square root of 8. And, uh, that points, and, and Alan Green said, you know, he didn't like the fact that that went through exactly the square root of two. So he looked for another place and he found it was there. So you see, I just turned it and pointing there, that's the Southwest Sphinx Temple. So that's where the black line goes in that picture. That sacred geometry decoded says is the center point for measuring from Giza. So unbelievable. Okay, then that line right there is goes to the right vertice of the five times Great Pyramid, exactly 2,100 feet away. That's the square root of eight. Wow. Okay, this one uh, is the square root of two, and it goes to the Osiris shaft. It's the shortest line out there. The Osiris shaft is the closest. You can see it's the black line over there, square root of two, unbelievable. And this line right here, the square root of four line, points to the southwest corner of Khufu, exactly 1,000 feet. Wow. Okay, so exact 100 feet distances. Just let me show you some more of these, okay, to the Giza monuments. So it's 2,000 feet exactly to the Hemiunu tomb. And I've just done some incredible things about, you know, the connections between his tomb and the Great Pyramid. Okay, the next one is 2,300 feet to Menkara. So from the holy mm -hmm. shaft to Menkara, exactly 2,300 feet. The Fibonacci origin, with all its incredible things, it's exactly one mile, exactly 5,280 feet. And we've shown some incredible things about this Fibonacci origin. Okay, the trial passages, it's exactly 1,500 feet to the entrance to the trial passages. Okay, and I've showed that the trial passages point to Lahun, they point to Menkara, they point to Khafre. Unbelievable. And these are the lines that I used to measure there, these and some other ones. Those are the pointings there. Okay, the Khufu Causeway, a little known part to the, to the Khufu Causeway underpass, exactly 1,600 feet. Here I am there, there's some incredible revelations there that I'm gonna do some programs on. This is the Khufu underpass. It's a little known part of these. The Wall of the Crow, okay? It's exactly 2,100 feet to the, to the, the gate that's at the Wall of the Crow. This is uh, an old causeway. It's got some, it's, uh, that's got some future programs built into it. And this one, this is what's incredible here is, so it's a thousand feet from the holy shaft at the southwest corner of Khufu. I only found that because when I overlaid this chart, there was nothing on Giza going through the square root of four. And I thought, you know, maybe I missed something. And I went through, and that's when I found the 1,000 feet to the southwest corner. So it shows that there is meant to be a connection. You know, it's, it's just unbelievable. And then I'll, I'll just end with this one. It's 1,000 feet to the northeast corner of that, that lowest satellite pyramid, the Pyramid of Fenutsen, which I climbed one time and got in trouble for. Okay, to the southwest corner, it's exactly 800 feet. So that satellite pyramid is defined in two places from the holy shaft by exact 100 distances, 800 and 1,000. Wow. Okay, I'm going to stop here. There's more to extract from this, so please stay tuned.
Okay, 